Ohio Docta. Well, today we're going to play another game of uh, Arknights. So, and um, what I'm going to show you this time is um, well, we have to show Lappy first. We have uh, we're going to make annihilation because I'm missing some Orundum. Just so you see. Um, I need some for the week I saved it so I can show you my strategy for Lumen Outskirts. <clears throat> okay, the first thing to say about this is that um, I'm not quite a strategist. This might not be the best strategy you have seen, it might be crazy even. And I'm not usually the type that has some time to take and see other people's videos in YouTube, so I have not actually seen uh, how to make this in YouTube, so I made it my own way and with my own team, so it's probably not going to be the best, <laughs> I'm sure of it. And I will explain why I have two positions, uh, well I will start going because this is a long battle and I can explain on the on the way. Basically this is the set I'm using. And everyone has a K role and the vanguards are going to generate the DP that we need. Cliff Heart is absolutely needed here. You can use Rob or any other one that can pull the enemies towards them. And we need wards. We usually need maybe a defender, but I, I picked a scepter instead, <laughs> you will see why. And the healers and some good snipers. You will notice that I'm not using any caster here. Even if I got, for example, in the previous video you got, you saw that I got Ifrit. I could use Ifrit, but in long main old skills and the problem is that you won't see any I defend. Uh, any enemy with eye defense, so we actually benefit a lot from physical attack, so having wards and having a snipers, manti, something like that. So we're going to start. And well, um, there are many ways that um, you can do this, for example, I try to put show, show. The cutest girl, I tried to put the cutest killer here. So she would push them, but I didn't. And then I didn't end doing it like that. This is the beginning of it. I place two one wars and I place two snipers. I like to call her, to call her Kaga. <laughs> because she shares the same voice than Kaga in Azur Lane. So here's Kaga. We have Apple Pie, sustain damage mode. And well, at first uh, they will be sending crap. Kara will move. And she will cover one, quite a wide area. But this is not going to be Kaga's uh, final position. This first position always to another purpose, and I will explain later. And there's also another reason for I'm using Shirayuki here because Shirayuki's final position will, will be over here for the final caster. We will see it later. Uh, she's here for another reason, okay? It's temporal. So actually, I had two main problems with long men skills and. The first one was some dudes that always went from here to this road and they skipped from the defense and went to here. 
they will really annoy you so we will have to deal with them with extra damage that's why everyone's positioned like this A cliff right here is a necessity. Actually, <laughs> this is something funny, but the first time that I did this, I tried to put a defender here and a caster for running with these guys. When it's obviously easier to have just cliff here, and she can perfectly deal with anything that comes here. You just need to have her skill eye. She can actually easily pull the first guys, but then there is some guys with swords and they go with katanas like if they with samurais or something and you totally need to have her in mode date. See, in mode like this. Of course, we can always have Lappy. <laughs> She is a master in every battle. And she's quite overpowered. I would like to say she's like a 6, six star uh, healing a 5 star. This is her craziness or sanity bar. And when it feels she becomes really mad. She absolutely becomes really mad. She's about to do it. Don't head on her range, she's going to obliterate you. So far there's no any problem with this position. I can just defend with it. It's actually uh, like most of my strategies, it's kill them before they kill you. <laughs> so we don't need defenders, we don't need too many healers, just kill the guys. And actually I think it's more pleasant to see them dying so quick than attacking on a defender and they having to be AoE or something like that. And you will notice that I keep having Texas mostly so she, she can heave deployment points and we don't really need any other unit deployed right now so it is fine she can be doing her job and at some point these guys these leaderships are the reason I really like to have offensive power because it doesn't matter how many good tanks you have, they will sneak through, they can be blocked, but you can kill them. <laughs> this, this one is going to suffer. <laughs> but actually there, there are some of them that are more dangerous, they have more HP and they are usually going to skip through. So this is what I'm going to do with this. You can see that Clipper is already doing her job. And the guys are starting to go over here. Oh, 
Ok, these are the annoying guys, ok? Great leader. I actually failed this uh, for having the 400. I failed it many times because I could not kill those bastards. So what I do is uh, I basically slow them down with Shirayuki's skill, uh, she can slow them. And then uh, Manti also slows them. So we can ban those fuckers like this. <laughs> Well, uh, my team is a little more over level now, but before that they usually go ahead over here. And now that I don't need this position, I'm going to make some changes. I already removed Shirayuki. Um, I will remove Kaga. I put a scepter here so she's like some kind of defender. <laughs> she's looking upwards so she can actually attack also Silver. Enemies. And we are going to change and have the second position soon. That is the position we need for the final battle. And, Kaga. and we wait to have the previous set. If we put Shira Yuki here, you will see why. Silence for killing her and later for killing Kaga. Now is when, when we can remove from um, Texas and put Kaga. And this is pretty much the final position for my Lumen old skills. Sometimes some of them die and I, and I have to replace them, but it's fine. This guy is hit a lot really crazy but that's why I'm using a scepter for it she's the crazy noon after all So pretty much the strategy is slow them down and let the sniper see with them and also the wall. <laughs> you will notice that even in this uh, part there are skill guys appearing over here so you always need to have cliff head on position. I will use the crazy noon skill so she won't die. Basically, um, also right here, I use uh, the crazy noon skill because she can survive 10 world seconds. It's like if you ever played Final Fantasy XIV, I like to call him the home gun <laughs> because it pretty much does the same. She can die during those 10 seconds. It's actually really good for dealing with those bastards. And this is the reason I have um, Malti in this position. And I have Shida Yuki over here. Basically, if you don't deal with these annoying casters, they will come all together and obliterate your team. And there is no hope to survive, even if you have Nightingale and you use her powers, it won't matter a lot. You have to kill them. If you don't kill them before they kill you, it's bad. <laughs> Shira Yuki is doing very well her job here. You can see that this position, in position is really good for um, both Apple Pie and Kaga because they can cover all this, all this place. And it's exactly the same place that <laughs> Manti is covering. And all of the danger is 
Oh. <laughs> and well, we have uh, already done the most dangerous part of the long man all the kills. The rest is uh, pretty easy. Just to keep forward. <laughs> I have this here because they kill them all. <laughs> Obliterated, yeah. <laughs> They are so slow down that they can't even reach the line defense. Pretty much how I do the <laughs> the 400 in long men odd skills. Yeah. The strat can be really summed up like kill those guys before they kill you. <laughs> and it's uh, well, I'm abusing actually of some good operators here, but I also had that strat using, for example, um, I will show you, for example, why I, I was using before. Before, for example, um, before <laughs> Apple Pie, I was using this girl over here, Meteor. No, not you, know. <laughs> So yeah, it can be pretty much the same. Even if you don't have similar operators, you can just build any sniper there. Even the most annoying of all the snipers that I didn't level up. <laughs> This one, even this one can make it. <laughs> so annoying. And well, that's pretty much the the video for uh, long men old skills. And I'm going to make more of this, uh, so expect it. And I honestly hope that this strategy works for you, or it can help you in any way. If not, well, it's always good to see something different. And I consider it very important, so I will actually make also about some of the sublim missions and um, the five rank of them. And I will actually show you the strategy I use for this as well. But that will be a matter of another video. So until next time. <laughs>